everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's me, Janisha Stanley again, and today I'm going to review the book, Who Was Princess Diana? This book was written by Ellen LeBrock and illustrated by Jerry Hoare. This book has 108 pages and 11 chapters, including the timeline of Princess Diana's life and the world. Well, who is Princess Diana? Well, Princess Diana was the Princess of Wales, and that city is in the United Kingdom. There, there were princesses all over the world at the time, but none of them were as popular as Diana. Well, why? Because since she was a teenager, she was caring for everybody. She was caring for children. She's been doing everything nice. So she was called the People's Princess by many. Princess Diana was born as Diana Frances Spencer on July 1st, 1961. Her surname is Spencer, and I'm going to tell you this. The Spencers have been a rich and powerful family for centuries. They were one of the richest families in England. Diana had three siblings, a sister named Sarah, who was six, a sister named Jane, who was four, and a younger brother named Charles, who was born when, when Diana was almost three. When Diana was 12, she attended West Heth, the same boarding school Diana's sisters attended. Every once a week, Diana and a few other friends went to a nearby hospital. Most students in West Heth are unsure what to do, but Diana knew what to do. She always treated them fairly and was always very nice with them. When Diana was almost 14, grandfather, the seventh Earl Spencer, died, and Diana's father became the eighth Earl Spencer, and after her grandfather's death, Diana and her two sisters got the title Lady. Diana liked being called Lady Diana, and whenever she was 18, she moved to London and became a kindergarten teacher. Even though she was a wealthy girl, why did she do that? Because she loved kids. She always sat with them and started talking with them. And Whenever she was around 19 years old, she went to, to a place where she could see Prince Charles play polo. After the polo match, then Diana started talking with Prince Charles in a barbecue. She said she was sorry for Charles' great uncle, who recently died. Charles was close to his great uncle, but he did die recently. So. And then, a, then a few, a few months later, they started dating. On July 29th, 1981, Charles and Diana were married. It was a national holiday in Great Britain, and 750 million people around the world watched the wedding on TV. It was like a fairy tale wedding, but it's it's real. It's in real life. And Diana stepped out of a carriage, and I'm gonna tell you this, I'm gonna tell you this. Diana's wedding dress was made out of 75 feet of ivory silk, and there were 10,000 pearls and sequins sewn into the dress, and there was a giant horseshoe in the waist of the dress, and guess what? The train of the dress, the part that trails behind it, was 25 feet long. It was the most famous wedding dress ever. In 1982, Diana had their first child. His name was Prince William. And then in 1984, they had their second child, Prince Harry. And Diana cared for them, and, and she was very kind, just like she was whenever she was a teenager. She was kind to everybody when she was a teenager. And even, even though she is a princess, she is still kind to everybody. As a princess, Diana has been spending lots of time traveling all over the world and urged people to donate money to charities so they can give care to people who need care. And, and then she, in 1992, Diana and Charles went to India. And I'm going to tell you this, she also, Diana also got to see one of her heroes, Mother Teresa. Mother Teresa ran a home for the sick and dying. And then 
Princess Diana went into the home and visited all of Mother Teresa's patients who were near death. No other princess would do that, but she did it. In December 1996, Charles and Diana divorced, and then in 1997, she went to Paris with her friend Dodie, and then when they were going somewhere in a car, photographers started chasing them, trying to take pictures of them, and then the driver sped away, but it was going, the car was going too fast and lost control, and then it crashed into a concrete pillar. Dodie and the driver died instantly. And then Diana was taken to the hospital and died shortly after. She was only 36 years old. And at the funeral, Diana's brother Charles gave a speech. And then a while later, one of Diana's friends sang a song called Candle in the Wind. And then she was buried on a small island in the middle of a lake. There was a small pathway with 36 trees, one to mark every year of her life. Even now, 23 years after Princess Diana's death, her legacy still lives. Why? Because she made lots of people understand that small acts of kindness are what matters the most. And she had a very kind heart. And now she is one of the most admirable women in the world. And just have a kind heart like Diana. And she was considered to be, she was beautiful on the outside and on the inside. So have a kind heart like Princess Diana. And everyone, go and read this book to learn more about the real Princess Diana. Friends, thanks for watching my videos. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned in on my new videos. I'll fly over to my next video. See you there.